scenario for 1000 concurrent users per minute so how would we be able to do that and what things are required let us just quickly start with this now uh, before starting with this you need to watch a video regarding plugins manager installation the link would be provided below and you can watch that video then you can come back and watch this video now over here as I told you the scenario is this that you have a 1000 concurrent users every minute right so how would you be able to achieve that now for this what we need to do is that suppose first of all I need a listener so that we can see the results and I would be adding a listener that is aggregate report which would letting which would be letting me know that how many users have executed right let us add a thread group now usually we add this normal thread group but this time we would be adding a concurrency thread group and here target concurrency is predefined so let us just specify the things that we need to have and the target concurrency is this that is say 1000 okay we, we won't be having any ramp up time so it is zero and we won't be having any ramp up steps as well so it is also zero and we would want to hold the target rate for say 10 minutes okay now you can see that it is mentioning 1000 users now let me do one thing let me add a sampler and I'll quickly add a sampler and I'll name this as say default request and I won't be providing in much information over here I'll just provide the URL that I would want to test and this is the IP so 192.168.1.99 right and say the protocol is HTTP and the port number is 80 even if you don't provide the protocol and port number these would be provided by default now let us just run this and let us see that how it performs right and you can see that it is asking me to save this test plan first so let us just save this test plan say 1000 concurrent users and let us just start this the moment I start this you can see that all the 1000 users have started and in this you can see that these number of users have already executed so right now what happens is that the moment the first sample got, gets executed it immediately requests the next, next sample right and as my server is not capable of bearing this much load if you notice over here in my task manager my system is fully occupied right and it is not able to handle any kind of request so you can see that my error rate is increasing right now right now right now I just have a very simple scenario I'm just having one request what happens is that in usual scenarios you don't have one request you have series of requests right and over here you can see that my system is not able to bear 1000 users load so what we need to do we need to stop this immediately so that my system gets working back again and you can see that there was 100% CPU usage if you go to the performance it has come down and you can also see that my memory usage was also at 90% okay it is getting down step by step now it would take a little bit time but it is uh, it was to the highest right now again I'll start generating this load and you can see that again my system would stop working again right and by time my system has stopped responding totally now why what is the reason the reason is that Windows does not allow uh, some say uh, some requests to go through after some uh, say limit for example after one lakh request they don't allow the request to go through and you can see that as a result of this we are getting errors and maximum number of samples are failing and we, we, we are getting the times as well so if you notice over here the average time is 669 milliseconds and the maximum time is this that is say 29855 milliseconds so this is this approximately translates to 30 seconds right apart from that this was the uh, say received data per second and if you go back and you can see that my CPU usage again became high 
right so this became to the hundred percent again and then it came back the moment I stopped executing my test right so this is how you can have 1000 users I would suggest you not to generate load on a computer uh, which is not capable of bearing this much load so what I would suggest uh, you is instead of having 1000 concurrency start with 10 then 100 then 500 and then 1000 you'll get to know that whether the system is capable of bearing this much load or not thank you